In this video, I want to talk about how to sort and filter data in Excel. Let's start with the numbers. I have a set of numbers that are randomly arranged in this list, and I want to organize from a, the lowest one to the highest one, or vice versa. So what I can do is simply select all the numbers that I have, and then right click, and then go to sort from the smallest one to the largest one. Let me click here. And as we can see, now I have a better organized list with the smallest number at the top and the largest one at the bottom. I can also do the opposite. Just again, highlight everything that I have, right click and go to sort, and then from the largest to the smallest one. Another way to access the filter or the sort in Excel is I can select the entire data again, and then I can go to the data tab. And here to the right, I'm going to have the filter and sort tool that I can use. I have filter, sort, that has a lot of options. And also the options to sort from A to Z or Z to A. So if I click here A to Z, I'm going to access again the option that we did before, lowest to the highest one. And Z to A is the opposite. But instead of now working with numbers, Let's say I want to work with texts. I want to sort in an alphabetical order or from A to Z. What I can do is I can select everything here and right click, sort, or as I said before, we can go to the data tab. And here to the right, I can just simply click over this option right here, sort from A to Z. Now, as we can see, the names in the list are alphabetically organized for us. Another way to easily sort and filter the data. Instead of every time select everything that we have and on and on, what I can do is I can input here a header, let's say names, and then I can select everything and I can go again to the data and I can apply a filter. So let me click in this tool right here. Now, as we can see, we have this little tag within the header. And whenever I click here, I have the same options as before, but this time it's much easier to access because I just need to click over this tag, this button, and then sort from A to Z or sort from Z to A. It's much easier to access the sort tool in Excel. Another way to organize the data that we have is, let's say now the data, instead of uh, vertically, we have a data set. Now the data set is horizontally organized. What we can do is, if I select everything here and I want to sort from A to Z or in a ascending order from the lowest one to the highest one. If I select everything and again, right click, go to sort from the smallest one to the largest one, I'm gonna click here. As we can see, nothing happens. And if I also go to the data tab and use those options right here from A to Z or Z to A, none of those options work. So why is that? Because when we are working with a data set that is horizontally uh, arranged in Excel, is not going to work. However, the way that we can do it is right click right here and then go to sort and then I can stick with custom sort because now I'm going to have this sort box where instead of using the column J to sort the items that I have or the numbers, I can instead change to the row. So let me go to options and then I can change to sort top to bottom. Instead, I want to use sort left to right. Click OK. And I'll sort by the row three, the third row. That is the row where I have the numbers. And I want to use largest to the smallest and, or the smallest to largest. I think I want to keep up with the first option. And then I want to click OK. And that's it. Now, as we can see, everything is arranged in a alphabetical order or from the lowest to the highest number from uh, in a ascending order. Now, move on to a new example where we have a larger data set with information such as update date, the item name, the ID, and the quantity that we have for all those items in the inventory. Let's say I want to filter or organize this data set using the dates, because as we can clearly see, all those dates that I have stands for the January month. However, I have here January 1st and then January 11th, January 9th, January 5th, and on and on. So everything here is a bit messed up. I need to organize it better. What I can do is let me move on to the second list 
actually is the same list as before. However, I have this highlight in all the rows just to make it easier to see what's going to happen when I sort the date. So let me go here to the update date. I want to select everything and then right click again, go to sort and then oldest to the newest. A new sort warning box is going to appear here for me because it's telling what do I want to do? Expand the selection to sort, to consider as the criteria the entire data set, or you want to keep up with just the first column. I want to continue with the current selection and then I want to click sort. And now, as we can see, only the first column that I have got started from oldest date to the newest one. And this is why I just highlighted all the rows because now we can see that we lost all the connection between the informations in the same row. So maybe in this situation right here, the right thing to do is expand the selection to the entire data set and then sort the data for the entire data set and not just for one single column that we have. Let me undo the action with this icon right here. Okay, now we have the original data set. And let me select again the update date, right click, sort, from the oldest to the newest. However, this time in the sort warning box, I want to expand the selection and then I want to click sort. That way, as we can see, even though we got here the header as the last row of the data set, all the other informations are correct. Now, let's say I don't want to sort the header. So what I can do is let me undo the action again. I can select the entire data set that I have and then I can go to the data tab and I can apply some filters right here. So click in this tool. And let's say I want to click in the update filter and then go to sort oldest to the newest. Now, as we can see, everything is organized based on the date, but without messing up the data set. Now, let's sort in another order that is newest to the oldest. Okay, here we have the new result. We can also use the items to sort the data or the ID or also the quantity. Another thing that we can do with the filters is, let's say I just want to see the inventory for grape, avocado, mango, and apple. So I can click here in the item, click, and then select all the items that I want to see, such as apple, avocado, grape, and also mango. I want you to click OK, and that's it. Now the entire data set is going to be a filter for me, and it shows only the data that I filtered before. And you can also couple filters. So let's say the items is my first criteria. The second one can be the quantity. I can click here and I want to see only the items that have more than 30 units in stock. And then I can click OK. Now I have two filters coupled with each other. And to clear everything, you can either click in the filter again and then go to clear filter from quantity and do the same thing for the item. Or you can go directly to the data tab and here you can see clear filter. Just click here and now you have the original data set again. And we can also filter by color. Let's say I just want to see the items that has a orange color. I can click here and select just the items that have this specific color that I want to see. Now let me clear this filter and get rid of the filter and let's move on to the last example. As I said before, we can filter using any column as a criteria. And when we have, let's say, numbers such as quantity, I don't want to manually select the quantities that I want to see. Let's say in this example, I want to see the quantities that are greater than 30. I don't want to manually select all the numbers that are greater than 30, but I can easily set this criteria. So let me again click over this data set right here or within the data set, and then I can go to filter to apply the filters. And if I click here in the filter, instead of, like I said before, select all the numbers that are greater than 30 because it's may take a lot of time, I can go here to number filter and then I can select a option that maybe can help me. So let's say I can use above average or below average, top 10, between less than, greater than, equal to, does not equal to, and on and on. So let me stick with greater or equal to. And a, a new box is gonna open here with the custom auto filter options. And I want to see everything that is greater than or equal to 25, let's say. And then I can click OK. And as we can clearly see, all the numbers now that are greater than 25 are being filtered for me. And I can apply a similar principle, but this time I want to use the items. Let's say I want to see everything but the berries, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, and on and on. So let me click here, item, and then I can go to text filters. Does not contain berry within the text, within the word. And then I can click OK. Now I, I'm clearly seeing all the fruits that I have, but 
the bearings. Let me clear this filter and get rid of the filter. And that's it. So this is how we can basically use the filter and the sort tool in Excel to help us on a daily basis to properly organize the data set like we need to. And if you want to see more videos about Excel, just check out my channel. There's a lot of videos out there. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below because every day has a new video. So I see you there.